Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. And today guys, I want to talk to you about something very, very confidential. I want to talk to you about something that I don't actually share uh, with anybody. And it's the secret deals Rolex does with retailers. And uh, you know me, you know me, I'm the pontiff, the buffoon who plays Archie Luxury. Well, one of the, um, the benefits of being the leading YouTuber on wristwatches is that I've got some influential friends. And it's time now I uh, reveal a secret for my viewers. And it is the... Rolex 7030 rule. Now, you may ask yourself, why is it that when you go into a Rolex <coughs> AD boutique, whatever, they have so many date just day dates on display and very, very little Rolex sports stock? Why is it so? Why is it so? And I'm going to do something very unconventional and actually reveal a big secret. Rolex, for their ADs, they have the 7030 rule. It's called the Rolex 7030 rule. Now, basically, what it's, it, 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 it implies is that for every... 70 non-steel sports watches that an AD sells, like Datejust, Oyster Perpetuals. So for every 70 non-sports, Rolex will supply 30 sports. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. The 70-30 rule, the way, it imp the way it works is the 70 can be Datejust, Oyster Perpetuals, it can be steel, it can be solid gold, it can be two-tone. The funny thing is the gold sports models, like say the gold sub, the gold GMT, the gold Daytona, they count in that 70. So, basically, um, they can sell Datejust, Solid Gold Sports, uh, Daydates. For every 70 pieces they sell, they will get 30, 30 Steel Sports Rolex. And in that 30 is also the Two-Tone Sports Rolex like the two-tone Submariner, the bluesy, like the two-tone GMT, like the two-tone Daytona. So this is the 70-30 rule. Now, when you are a Rolex AD, it's like buying a box of chocolates. You don't say, excuse me, Mr. Rolex, I would like 10 Submariners, I'd like five Hulks, I'd like seven Batmans, I'd like five steel Panda Daytonas. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. You buy a mixed tray. A mixed tray. Now, in that tray, 70% will be Datejust, Oyster Perpetuals, and Solid Gold Sports. You have some inkling of what you want. So it's like buying a, a Whitman sampler. You can sort of ask a bit like, um, you know, you want the dark chocolate version in the 70. You can, you've got a little bit of leeway, but you can't pick Pacific models. Then, by buying the 70, you then are entitled to the 30. Now, the funny thing is, is that most Rolex dealers they make most of their money from selling that 30% and that's where 
the true traffic comes from. So you got to remember this. If you, if you uh, are just somebody who goes in, and uh, I had a good friend of mine, Michael in Sydney. Michael went to Swiss Concept, and he just bought a, uh, this is last year, he bought a two-tone Daytona with a white dial. He got a bit of a discount. He got about 10% off. Uh, it's okay. But he then said, oh, could you put me on the waiting list for a no-date sub or a Hulk? They took his details. Then they rang him up a bit a week before Basel World and said, look, maybe you should try another AD. That's what they told him. So I got to be completely frank and honest with you. It's, uh, it's a nasty rule. It is a nasty rule. The 70-30 rule with Rolex. It is nasty. It's nasty. It's not a fair world. But you got to understand, see, the retailer, he, he basically, he basically, um, how do I put this? He basically, he has 45% margin, okay? So say it's the watch itself, say the watch itself costs $6,500, he would retail it for 10000 So 65% of the full retail price is cost, 45% is margin. That's what the margin is there. So it's not uh, cost plus 45%. It's, this is the formula. They've got a special formula to work this out. And what happens is you might say, wow, he gets 45 um, points on selling something. Yes, but he has to advertise in fancy wancy magazines. He needs to have a certain presence. It has to be in a really expensive retail environment. He needs to have a certain shop fit out. Like, my studio wouldn't be good enough for them. My studio wouldn't be good enough for them. They have to agree to send all repair work to Rolex because that's their honey pot. That's their service honey pot. Uh, it's actually pretty, 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 pretty tricky and vicious to be completely frank and honest with you. Rolex themselves there, they, um, they're a very hard taskmaster. Whatever they do, you can't argue with them. Very recently, to give you some internal gossip, I don't want to name names, but uh, I live in Brisbane, and we had a, uh, a certain Rolex AD. And he actually decided to, he, he had a sort of, he had his own jewelry store name, and it, Rolex was one of the brands he sold. He decided, right, I'll back you, Rolex. We'll have a boutique-looking store, so we're going to ditch all the other brands, Little bit of jewelry will sell, but we're going to become a Rolex exclusive store. Yep, yep, he did that. And then um, Hourglass wanted to move from Gold Coast to Brisbane, and sure enough, um, because Hourglass in Asia is such a big buyer of Rolex, they can do what they want. They can do what they want. And uh, Rolex is a very 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 difficult animal to deal with they're extremely hard i don't know whether everyone says they'd love to be a rolex ad it's a license to print money it's like having a mercedes-benz dealership yeah it's true but you've got to put up with their corporate bullshit hoops that's the the answer i've been told on the side by ad's that um uh, the biggest fear they have is that the the, the rolex sends in undercover people to see if that store is discounting. And uh, if Rolex catches you discounting, ooh, ooh, hell had no fury like Rolex scorned. So it's it's a very it's a very difficult um, brand to work with. There, there, there is great returns. Lately, supply has been a big issue. Supply, Rolex has been limiting supply. Um, that's very frustrating when you got rent and staff and bills to pay but uh 
basically, uh, Rolex, most Rolex dealers do very, very well. Uh, and it, it is a license to print money. They've just had some certain rules. Now, guys, these rules are confidential. I can get into really, really big trouble for mentioning on my channel these rules. So I think it might be a good idea in future. I might make this sort of confidential rules video only to Patreon supporters. So guys, if you're thinking about sponsoring me each month, maybe now could be a great time and I'll give you secret goss and dirt on the watch industry. So um, what I don't have confirmed, I'm more than happy to make up for you guys. So uh, there you go. Archie Luxury reporting on the Rolex 7030 rule. Tell me what you guys think. And if you're an AD, put a comment below. Everyone put a comment below and tell me what you think. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel, relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube. Okay.